Good afternoon, I am Video James, and this is Space Engineers. Well, sort of. It's my desktop, because I'm showing off a mod that I have been working on. A while back, people suggested on the Reddit group some sort of warp drive that could send a ship between servers, so I decided to create just that. I am going to admit this code is actually heavily modified code from the gentleman who made the Space Engineers server extender. So, his server extender. He, full credit on the majority of my code, I changed it around to be cross-server rather than something that just speeds your ship up. So, you get the DLL, you put it into the mod folder for Space Engineers Dedicated, you then run Space Engineers Server Extender. Once the server's started up, we'll go into Space Engineers and I'll show you what I've made. So, join my server. Well, you won't be joining my server, you'll be joining your server. Ah, loading times. Fun, 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 fun. Right, so here's easy start world with the red chip. To make a warp drive, obviously this is just a placeholder, you use a beacon and four batteries that are three blocks away on either side. So, beacon... Just use light armor as wedges to make sure I can actually count to three. Right, so now the plugin has recognized this ship now has a warp drive. They'll send it between... I haven't decided what to call it yet because the original plugin that was made by the gentleman who made Server Extender called it... he called his plugin warp drive, but everyone called this concept warp drive, so I'm gonna have to come up with a different name for it, like subspace drive or super fast, somewhat buggy drive. So what happens is when the ship gets to 50 meters per second, at the minute I've changed that to 15, so it's easier to test, the ship gets broken up and saved. Uh, it should kick the player off as well, but at the minute I haven't quite figured out how to do that part, so we're just going to disconnect and try and make it look as less awkward as possible. <coughs> uh, that export is then put into a temporary file, which C Sharp can then upload online to a database, which any server running the same mod as this can download the ship again. But for now, because obviously we're only doing it with one server, we'll leave it as the file. So if I join the world again... It will download the file, obviously it doesn't need to because the file is already there. Realize that the file's name is the same as my Steam ID. Use up the contents of the file to recreate the red ship, and then delete the file. Because obviously we're not trying to make a ship cloner. We're trying to simulate it warping between servers. Um, the other problem, other than trying to get the player to disconnect, which I need to find a way to sort out, is putting the player back into the cockpit again, and obviously not 100 blocks below the ship. I did that for safety reasons, so the ship wouldn't spawn in in the exact same position the ship was originally in, and then the two would tear themselves apart, which is actually quite fun to watch, but it's functionally awkward. So, yeah, that's the basis behind the mod all seems to be working so far, but I'd rather it work properly. And if you have any questions, just drop me a comment on Reddit. I've been Video James, and thank you very much for watching.